Spring is in the air, or is that just the smell of food in the street? No joke, April 1st marked the beginning of food truck season, and Dewey Square was full of hungry young professionals. Despite the rain, Boston's food truck program is bigger and better this year, and brand new roaming restaurant northeast of the border is one of the freshest on the scene. We've seen a lot of restaurants, but more Tex-Mex, and we wanted to bring that authentic flavor, the fresh, homemade, uh, handmade, organic foods, and introduce them to Boston. Boston's food truck fleet has expanded vastly in the last two years, and Keith of three-year-old Taco Party highlighted one of the problems that goes with larger choice. Unfortunately, the amount of spots available to, to trucks has not grown every year, so there's like 20-something spots in the program. Maybe a third of those are really decent spots. However, Rebecca believes the competition will ultimately be good for Boston. I think everybody's going to be competitive. It's going to be great. We're going to have new flavors, and I, th I just think it's going to be booming twice as much as last year. And Keith agrees, as the tight quarters trend is breeding innovation, treating taste buds citywide. If you're adventurous enough to, like, make working out of the back of a truck your, your job, you're also probably adventurous enough to do something really different out of it. While it may be wet and rainy in Boston, as the summer progresses, the food truck trend is here to stay. In Boston, I'm Lloyd Mallison.